Hi, my name's Rob and I've been developing in SharePoint for 20 years. Today I want to talk about dynamic theming and show you how you can make your web part react to changes to the background section colours. So here's the problem. This is the out of the box text web part and this is our web part. It's all well until I try to change the section background and you'll see the results our web part doesn't know how to respond. In fact, it gets worse as the section colors change. So how do we make our web part react to the changes in theme? Okay, so first of all, what we need to do is we need to enable our web part for changing themes. And the first place we need to look at is in our manifest file. And we need to add a line in there under component type. I don't think it really matters where it goes, but we need to put supports theme variants true. So now our web part will automatically uh, be enabled to look out for those changes. However, if I go back to our web part, nothing has really changed just by enabling that we have to wire it up. As you will see, I will change that to blue. Nothing has happened. So what do we need to do? Well, the first thing we need to do is go to our TS file and make sure that we import all the relevant libraries for theming. And I shall put that in here. So the libraries we want are theme provider, theme changed event arguments, and the I read only theme. And that all comes in from Microsoft SP component base. The next thing we want to do is we want to go up to our properties file and we want to make sure that we can add in a property for the theme. I'm going to add that in now, a theme variant. Again, we need to put a reference in at the top for the I read only theme. And make sure we've got that in there. OK, we'll now be getting an error saying it's missing the theme. So we need to go uh, into here and we need to provide two local variables to handle the theme and one of those is the theme provider the other one is the theme variant then we also need to put in here an override of the on init function we're overriding that promise in there and we're going to return The, uh, so what we're doing here is we're initializing, we're going to the top level on init, and once that returns from that promise, we're setting the theme provider. We're setting the local um, theme variant to get the local theme, and then we're saying when the theme changes, what do we do with it? Well, we need a function called handle theme change event. I'm going to put that in here as well. I'll put it afterwards. And what this will do is when the theme changes, then set the theme to the new theme that's been passed in and re-render the web part. Obviously here, it now wants us to pass in the theme variant. So I'm going to put that code in there. And we're passing in our local theme variant. There we are. OK, so what have we done there? We've put a reference in for the themes. On initialize, we're setting up the theme to our local variables. We're handling the event when it changes. We're basically saying when externally we change the theme, do something with it and pass through as a property the new theme details. Now, if I was to save all that off, you think that's great, we've passed in the theming information, but 
as you'll soon see as it rebuilds nothing has actually changed on our web path and if we look at our page nothing will actually change even though we've enabled it for theming because we haven't actually told that web part what to do with the different colors so the final step we need to do is go to our main web part here and in this div what we're going to say is we're going to set the background color to be dynamic and the way we do that is with this line here div and we set the style and background to be the background colors there the semantic colors is just going through the um, properties and extracting that I will put that in there as well so we need that line of uh, the um, semantic colors needs to be within the render function there we need to put another reference in to read only theme at the top there so finally we're saying the background will be the colors and we're going to say that the foreground will um, also change and that will be to the body text so I'm going to put that one in there background color there and I'm going to say the foreground color is to the body text so this will say when the theme changes change the background color and change the foreground color I'm going to save all of that so in order for these changes to take effect you need to stop the server running and restart it again and once you've done that now when you add your web part in there it will be aware to its surroundings and along with the text that we had in there you'll see that it will change colors along with it and that's how you have dynamic theming well i hope you enjoyed that video the link to the source code is in the description below if you liked it please give us a like or subscribe by clicking the button below and come back as we'll be releasing more videos like this in the future.